It has been a seismic year for Saudi Arabian soccer in 2023. Its domestic league has enjoyed an influx of foreign superstars. Well, for me, it's a pleasure to be here. An audacious bid to host the 2034 World Cup and the staging of FIFA's Intercontinental Club Tournament. While growing the sport in its own backyard, Saudi Arabia is also investing in leading clubs and organisations all over the world. The Saudi soccer bubble does not look like bursting anytime soon. Saudi Arabia's Public Investment Fund, or PIF, took control of four of the country's biggest clubs in June. Al Nasser, Al Ittihad, Al Ali and Al Hilal. They then spent huge amounts recruiting the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo, Neymar, Karim Benzema, Riyad Mahrez, N'Golo Kante and Sadio Mane, to name a few. I'm really happy. The Saudi league, it's a good league. Around $1 billion of talent arrived in a head-spinning summer. And as the January window opens, fans of Europe's top clubs might wonder who is next. Saudi Arabia was left as a shoe-in to host the 2034 World Cup after Australia confirmed in October it would not make a bid for soccer's global showpiece. World Soccer's governing body FIFA had invited bids from Asia and Oceania. Saudi Arabia's was the only one received. Saudi FA President Yasser al Mishal. We already took part in previous six World Cup, so the chance to do so in 2034 on home soil and in front of our fans in Saudi Arabia will be incredible. When Saudi Arabia's PIF bought English side Newcastle United in 2021, it showed the country's intent to follow the lead of the UAE and Qatar, its smaller neighbours who have bankrolled some of Europe's biggest soccer clubs. But Saudi Arabia wants to go further as part of its Vision 2030 project aimed at diversifying the kingdom's economy by developing a domestic league that can become one of the top 10 in world soccer. Cynics may compare the rapid growth of the Saudi League to the Chinese Super League that sparkled briefly before fizzling out. But the Saudi approach, endorsed by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, looks built for the long haul and no expense is being spared in trying to make that a reality.